The third person template provides us a quick and easy way of getting a third person camera set up and to get our game started. It gives us mouse, gamepad, and touch based input. We have basic animations for our character. We have a third person perspective, hence the name third person template. And we have a fixed rotation camera look. Let's go ahead and run through the template. If we run through it, I can use my right mouse button to freely look around my character. If I move my character, he'll go in any of the directions I point him to, forward, backwards, left, or right, relative to the camera itself. However, the camera does not snap behind when the character runs forward, as you can see, or even turns. The camera will stay fixed relative to the direction it is when I have character moving. And then the character will move relative to the camera. So while I'm facing these stairs, I can go left, right, forward, and backwards. But if I move the camera like this, then left, right, forward, and backwards is again relative to the camera. But the character is allowed to move towards the camera itself. The camera does not snap. Now all this is handled inside of the character controller and the character itself, as we can see here, for all of our actions. We do have a VR orientation and position for some basic VR functions, but not advanced. Now the third person template could be used to make something such as this. We'll go ahead and open up our example project here. And we'll find a setup using a third person character that was created using the Infinity Blade Forge assets, which are available on the Learn tab of the Marketplace. We have our character here. Now our character does not look like our mannequin. This character was actually imported in from the Infinity Blade characters. We were able to use the existing skeletal mesh in the third skeletal skeleton in the third person template and then map these models, meshes, and animations onto here. So that way when I move, we can see we have our character, even though it looks different using the same basic setup as the third person. Now on the bottom right, we have a little bit of a hint on what we should do. We need to find the ancient forge hammer. And if I look over there, well, I can see it. And we had a little rock pop up to give us a little bit of help. Now there's our ancient forge hammer when we grab it. Our quest updates. Now we need to find the ingots of awesomeness. So let's go back over here. And I think I remember seeing them, yep, right over here. We'll grab them. Well, now we need to forge the key of escaping. So we'll go ahead and go back over here. I believe that's a forge. We'll go ahead and go over to it. And we'll go ahead and unlock the gate of pain and escape. We'll head over to the gate and we've defied the forge and escaped with our life for now. That was a pretty simple example of pulling in some assets, setting them up to fit our theme and our template using the existing skeleton built in with our third person template and matching it with the animations we brought in. You could easily expand upon this, maybe give some sort of cinematic look when you're forging things or picking up things, have some more cutscenes and effects, give yourself a nice, good, maybe action adventure, role-playing feel using your third-person template.